Animation requires artists to be actors and directors, in tune with emotion and movement to be able to produce a convincing story. Posing 3D rigs can affect the speed of animation playback, and that means we spend a lot more time double-checking our work or working with trade-offs to be able to accurately visualize our changes. These compromises take away time from what matters, conveying story through animation. NVIDIA Omniverse Create provides an opportunity for us to work more confidently because we can interactively view our animations in real time and still use our favorite apps to make adjustments. To understand just how Omniverse tools can help, let's start with the current workflow in Blender. This simple animation in the Blender viewport feels slow because it's playing back at 15 frames per second when the scene was initially animated at 30 frames per second. That's not ideal because it makes it hard for us to know if we are getting the timing correct. We can try removing lighting and materials to bring our frame rate back up, but that leaves a pretty boring viewport to work with, and the frame rate can still drop. That's where play blasting comes in handy. It's best practice to export play blast for animation review because it provides consistent and reliable feedback. With the help of the EV renderer, we can quickly export high quality animations. Play blasts are just image sequences though, which means everything is baked in. So every time we make a change to colors, lights, or the animation itself, we have to re-render the entire scene as a play blast, and that time really adds up. With Omniverse Create, the need to make a play blast to review one change is eliminated because animation playback is real time and we can quickly update individual parts of the scene. This is possible thanks to the Omniverse ecosystem and USD, or Universal Scene Description, and it all starts with a few simple setup steps in Blender for Omniverse. First, I want to break the current scene into individual parts. I start by evaluating my scene for animated versus static assets. Then I can use USD export features of Blender Omniverse to save my animated assets separately. Once that is done, I import my new USD files by dragging and dropping them into Create. This creates a new source scene that works anywhere. In a few quick clicks, I have a great looking animation playing back in real time. So now I want to show you how you can work faster with this method. In Create, we have our scene set up so that it can easily connect to Blender. So when I update a character animation in Blender, I can re-export the changes which are instantly reflected in Omniverse Create. This method is a lot faster because saving a file is a much simpler process than rendering an image. If I was using the play blasting method in Blender, I'd still be waiting for it to finish rendering and it wouldn't be able to continue to interact with my scene and make additional adjustments to it in context of the animation playback. By connecting my apps with Omniverse and USD, I have a lot more time to make a lot more adjustments and review them. Because this scene is also a USD file, I have a ton of delivery options too. I can choose to render out a new play blast of my scene directly from Create, or I can import these changes back into Blender using USD import options. That's pretty awesome because no matter where I've reviewed my content, I can still bring it back home. Powered by NVIDIA Studio laptops and RTX GPUs, Omniverse can help unlock artists' creativity and connect applications so we can work with confidence through real-time animation review.